Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the latest episode on the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're going to be looking at the best diagnostic scan tools and scanners for Suzuki vehicles in 2021 and 2022. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you which of these tools I would personally choose given my 15 years experience in this particular field. I'm going to put links to all of these kits in the description below this video. It's really important that you follow those links because they will take you to genuine and official products. Unfortunately, fakes and clones do exist. They can cause your vehicle a lot of damage and they just won't work as well as they should. Um, I'm going to start with the cheapest, working my way through to the most expensive. Generally what you'll find is the more expensive the tool, the more system coverage and the more functionality it will actually have. Um, and that's certainly case, the case in this video, but there's nothing to say that if you went for the cheapest tool, it wouldn't serve your needs as well as this tool. It all really depends on your personal budget and what functionality and what you're looking to actually get out of a tool. So we're going to start with this one here, which is the iCarsoft iA20. This is the cheapest, it is the most basic, and what it will allow you to do is diagnose and reset if you've got, say for example, a check engine light, um, if you've got an emissions warning light, and it'll also uh, give you live data for the engine system as well. So if you've got a check engine light or your, your engine's not running properly, you can hook this tool up, it will give you a fault code, it will give you a description of the fault, and it will also give you the option to reset the warning lights and the, uh, the fault codes itself. So this is a good option, it's a good entry level tool, and if, you, if, if your budget really doesn't allow for a more advanced tool, then I would certainly say this is a good option, but it's only gonna be a good option if you do have a, a problem with the engine. If you've got an, a fault with a different system, like the airbags or the ABS, or uh, you need to reset a service light or something, then this is the tool that you'll need to use. It's the next step up, it's the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit. This tool will allow you to uh, cover all of, the, all of the main systems within the vehicle, so the likes of engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, it'll allow you to do service resets. And it, on top of that, it will also cover all other makes and models as well. So if you've got a Suzuki in your family and you've also got a Ford or a Citroen, a Peugeot, um, or BMW, Audi, Mercedes, something like that, then this is gonna cover all of your vehicles. Um, so it's a really good option if you've got more than one vehicle that you need to look after and you need to cover other systems other than just the engine system. And then we move on to the most expensive tool, which is the Autel kit, uh, the MK808 kit. It's the most expensive, it has the most features, it covers absolutely all cars, all systems, all functions. It's pretty much double the price of this tool. Well, the reason we put this one in here is because um, it does give you additional functionality, but it does come at a cost. So if budget's not an issue, then by all means, I would certainly look at something like this um, because it gives you the extra functionality in the vehicle coverage as well. But if you are budget minded, you know, which tool would I personally recommend? Uh, honestly, given my experience, I would look for three main things when it comes to buying a diagnostic tool. So it would be the system coverage and the vehicle coverage and the service functions. So this tool, I believe, gives the best value for money. It covers a lot of vehicles, a lot of uh, service functions, and a lot of systems within those vehicles. So this is the tool that I would personally recommend. It's a, it's a really good seller at Diagnostic World. And yeah, that's the one I would definitely go for. I did say I would give you my recommendation at the start. So this is the one I would go for. But it all depends on you know, your specific budget, what you're looking to get out of a tool. If you only need to knock off a check engine light, then you know, this tool is gonna to work just as well as this one for that particular function. So don't be under any illusions that you have to go for an expensive tool. Uh, this tool will be fine for your needs. Remember, I'll put the links to these kits in the description below this video, and uh, make sure you use those links because it will take you to the genuine products. Fakes and clones, unfortunately, do exist. Please try your best to stay away from them. They will cause you and your vehicle nothing but trouble, aggravation, and uh, stress if I'm honest with you. Um, but that's another story entirely. Thanks very much for watching. If you have taken something from this video, if it's given you an idea about which tool to buy, please give the video a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you next time on the Scan Tool Network.